Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study about Ackermann's function. That is a best example of a recursive function, right? Ackermann function is one kind of recursive function. So uh, this is a formula. It is defined as a of m n that is equal to n plus one. If my m is equal to zero, if my m is equal to zero, a of m n that is equal to n plus one. If my m is greater than zero, that means it m is positive number, and n is equal to zero. At that time, a of m n that is equal to a of m minus one comma one, right? And if my m is not equal to zero and n is not equal to zero, that means m and n both are greater than zero. Then a of m n that is equal to a of m minus one, and at the value of n, I'm having a of m. n minus 1 this is my m this is my n right so as you can see this is the pure answer this is i can say this is my base case right now here also i am having recursive case right that is a of m minus 1 1 because i am calling this function again right so this is my recursive case right while here i am having two times recursive case because For this a of m n, I need a of m minus one, a of m n minus one. That is for the value of n also. I again need to call that function only, right? So it's a double recursion, right? So let us just one take example that uh, a of one two. If I want to find the value of a of one two, right? So according to the formula here, m is also greater than zero and n is also greater than zero. So that is a of one two is equal to a of m minus one. That is zero, right? One minus one zero, comma. At the place of n, I am having a of m. That is one and n minus one. That is two minus one. That is again one, right? So I need to find this a of one one. Right, so it's a recursion. Now, if I find this a of one one, so a of one one again both are greater than zero. So I need that is equal to a of m minus one one minus one. That's a zero, right? And a of m n minus one that is one zero. Why? Because m n minus one that's a zero. Now again, I need to find this a of one zero, right? Now, if you find this a of one zero, so it goes to my base case. Why? Because here my uh, uh, second case, not the base case, second case. Why? Because here my n is equal to zero, right? So that is equal to a of m minus one one. So m minus one that is zero and one, right? M minus one that means uh, one minus one that's a zero. And one, right? So I'm having this zero one. Now, if I solve this a of zero one, so for solving this a of zero ones, I have to go for the base case. So if my m is equal to zero, then my answer is n plus one. So what is my n? So my n is one, right? So it's a one plus one. That's a two, right? So I got the answer that is two for a of one zero. If I place this value over here, right? So that is a of zero two, right? If I place the value, then it's a of zero two, right? Again, for this, I can apply the base case because my m is equal to zero, right? So answer is n plus one, n plus one. That is two plus one. So I got the answer three, right? Now, if I place this three over here. So it's a a of zero three, right? Zero three, right? Now again, I have to apply the base case, right? So base case that is n plus one. So n plus one that means three plus one. So my answer is four. For a of one two, I got the answer four. That is my Ackermann function, right? So I hope you understand this theory portion. then we'll see the practical one the program for this now if we look at the program here my program is in two parts right uh, i'm starting with my header files that is hash include stdio.h hash include coinio.h right so this is my header files right 
here i am having a function for ackermann function right i am having i am created one function i have created one function for ackermann function before that we'll go to this right what i need for this so that is this is my main function so for applying that i need a of mn for finding this i need m and n right so this both the values i am taking this both the value from the user right so integer m n and a printf enter m right i scan the value from the user user uh, i take the value from the user and store it at m person m that is at the m right then uh, printf enter n right so n will be entered by the user and that is stored at the n right now what i have done i pass this value m and n both the value this is my actual parameter right so i pass this value whatever comes from the user right that uh, to the function ack right that is my ackermann function right and then i'll store the answer in a right and then i print this right instead of, if you don't want to take this from the user you can directly give the value like this that a c k uh 2 3 right for example if i want to give for 2 3 right so i can write a c k 2 3 but this will become static right and this i can take any value from the user and i can apply it dynamically way right so now if i if we concentrate on the function of ackermann right so that is simple i have to apply the formula here right, to using if else loop right so i am having this function integer ack right here i am having integer m and this is my formal parameters right here now according to the formula what we have we have three condition right first that is our base condition right then second i am having uh, second two more conditions are there and both are the recursive condition right so first i need to write always try to write base condition first right uh, that is a good habit to write a base condition first right so i am writing the base condition first that is if my m is equal to is equal to 0 right if my m is equal to 0 then what it should return that is n plus 1 whatever value i am having in a n that is n plus 1 right else if here i am using else if why because i am having two more condition total i am having three conditions right so i have to write else if if i am having only two conditions i can do if and else only but here i need to write uh, i need to use uh, if else ladder right so i am using if else ladder so else if the another condition i am having that m is greater than 0 m should be greater than 0 and n is equal to 0 if this both condition are true then it should return a of m minus 1 1 right so here i am using this logical operator double and right what it means double and means both of this condition should be correct if both the conditions are correct then and only then it will go into the loop right it will go into the statement right otherwise it will directly go to the else part right if any one of this is correct right then also it will go to the else part only why because end shows and uh, both and end and shows this is a logical operator that means that both of the conditions should be satisfied right so if m is greater than 0 and n is equal to is equal to 0 then it should return ack m minus 1 1 and else if the last condition that is m is greater than 0 and and n is greater than 0 why this is compulsory normally usually you think that last condition if i am having the last one there is no need to write uh, if right that is correct there is no need to write if but here i am having condition that my m and n both should be non negative value if i don't write this if i don't write this if and if i go directly with the else value that is correct it will give correct answer for all the positive numbers right but it might be possible that someone enter negative number in that then it will go in the infinite loop right so for that i'm writing over here else if m is greater than 0 and n n is greater than 0 then return ack m minus 1 comma ack m n minus 1 here 
here i am calling that function this again calling this function one time only here i am calling this function two time one and again inside that parameter i am calling that function that means function call itself so this is an example of recursion and if you want you can write i am not uh, i have not written the last else if you want you can write the last else and you can print over there that enter proper value right so i hope you understand this is the program of ackerman right so i hope you understand this this is the best example of recursive function recursion you can apply it anywhere right uh, if uh, in exam or anything if someone is asked give example of recursion you can give this example right it's very easy right so go through it execute it and then you will get to know how it actually execute right thank you very much